Look at this. It's me and Regis. This is Ruin and Regis. This is a really famous photo, actually. Well, he took his bike and like took off, and he's like, how do you stop this thing? And I'm like, there's no brakes. You got to put your feet on the floor and the tire. He's like, what, well, are you trying to kill me? And I was just like, oh my God. <laughs> Season three of Creator Lab is all about community. In this episode, we're talking to the one and only Austin Augie, photographer, fashion model, professional BMX rider, and longtime YouTuber about how being a part of all these communities shaped his creative life. And in this episode, we're partnering with Austin to help out his favorite bike shop after a tough year. All right, welcome to Creator Lab season three. We're talking about community. Thanks for having me on. Thanks Jack. for being here. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. Why don't you introduce yourself to the audience? My name is Austin Augie, professional BMX rider, model, photographer. Oh, I just I'm a creator. I like to th I would like to think of myself as a creator. And that's what Creator Lab is all about: is bringing creators together to share knowledge and you know talk about some of the things that we've learned pursuing yeah. this. And here we are. And here we are. And in this season, we're talking about community, and all these things you mentioned are different communities. And they all go hand in hand. On their own. And they all go hand in hand and you kind of can connect the dots. Did riding bikes lead to getting into photography, getting into creating videos? Are yeah, those yeah. two things connected? I started doing the, the vlog stuff because of BMX. So I was traveling the world riding. I was like, I need to document this. And I did the, I did the vlogs for a whole year. Every Dur day? Every day for a year and a half. Wow. Yeah, and it was pretty, it was cool for a bit. And then I got super, you know, obviously burnt out. But you shot and edited everything yourself? Everything, every day. Every day. But throughout this YouTube career, I was, I was telling the audience, I was like, this is going to blossom into something different that I want to do, and like, this is only helping me. So YouTube helped me learn about cameras and learn about composition, storytelling. Talk to me a little bit about what the kind of stuff you're creating right um, now, the kind of artwork that you're working on. What I really love and I will never stop doing the rest of my life is photography work. And I really shine with the, the, photo, the photojournalistic aspect of it, which correlates back to the vlog days, the guerrilla style, like keeping your eye open, looking for the shots. And at the same time, you're doing this fashion stuff on the side a little bit, and fashion. you're exposed to all these different photographers. Have you learned from that? Yeah, that's, that's how I got into it, really, was I used the connections from being in front of the lens as a model and kind of talked my way and learned and kind of made my way into it, Yeah. where they give me the trust now to shoot, like GQ covers and uh, direct fashion films. and. It's only going up, man. Like as long as you keep creating, like your only your body of work only gets better and better. One of the things I'm picking up on is you have been exposed to lots of different fields, and in those fields, probably lots of different communities. Every every kind of path that I've chosen, there has been a, a sense of community that's come together to help me. BMX, like I don't even need to touch on that. BMX community is one of the. I wouldn't be where I'm at if it wasn't for this, the amount of people that I've had in my life from that, from sleeping on couches around the world to being exposed to different music. With photography, I've, I've you know, recently had some stuff stolen from me and immediately had people come to, come to my back and say, hey, if you need cameras, I got you. If you need uh, an assistant, lighting assistance, anything you need to kind of get you back on track. With each and every one of those, man, YouTube especially too, like you met, there's just many people that are willing to put their, put their neck out for you and help. So you've talked about community being the source of help and assistance when you need it. Yeah. But also, maybe community is, a, is like a source of inspiration. If you immerse yourself into a lifestyle and are completely open to, to absorbing as much information as you can about that subject that you are so passionate about, there's no room for you to fail because there's always someone in that, that genre, of, in that world, to, to, to give you a little bit of knowledge, to push you in that direction that you want to go to. You know what I mean? Yeah. Does that make sense? 100%. As a photographer, Adobe has been the number one most intuitive software and, and has saved my life on a lot of things. Um, You're talking about Lightroom specifically? Lightroom and uh, Photoshop. Adobe's done a really good job at just making A1 products, you know? I'm not getting paid to say that. <laughs> they just do good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the, I mean, this episode is about sound. Um, in Premiere, and there's a couple of tools that they have. When you're including music okay. in a video, okay. you press this, you click on the audio track, you click on Auto Duck, and it'll like the music will drop down when there's dialogue, and we're, like if we're oh, having a conversation automatically, and then if we're in B roll, the music will come back up.
and then auto match. So when you're shooting in multiple locations, sometimes the sound is lower on this one and higher on this one, yeah. and you gotta like sync it. Otherwise, like the audio it's going up and down the whole time. Yeah. Auto match automatically matches all the audio to the same level. I'm new to Premiere, so it's kind of there's lots speaking. of tools that make it easy. Yeah. Yeah. It's been fairly easy to learn this program. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And there's a community of people here. There's a community of people online yeah. on YouTube we'll, that'll teach you. Again, with the you community, know. you would even think about. We don't even think about what community is in the broadest sense yeah. of being like. I can go if I'm a Premiere user. If I'm a Adobe Premiere user now, and I need to find someone else that's a Adobe Premiere user, and you go to YouTube and say, "How do I, whatever it may be, mask this 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 clip?" And uh, you know that you, when you go on YouTube, you're a part of that now Premiere community. Hundred you know? percent. One of my favorite things, and I swear I'm going to tie this all together, but one of my favorite things about this season of Creator Lab is that Adobe is supporting us in supporting small businesses in yeah. New York through GoFundMes. And they're giving us a little bit of funding to bring to these businesses to help them out. And this is exciting. And this is very exciting because you've identified a small business that's been pushing a GoFundMe, but this is this small business is in itself a community oh, that man. you're a part of. Tell it's, me a little bit about this it, place that it's, we're on. It's funny that it's, it sits right with what you're kind of going for with the community and, and what it is, because what Roan has done with, and what we're talking about is the shop on Division Street in Manhattan. It's, it is the only BMX, um, primarily owned BMX in Manhattan. Everybody, everybody else is a, is a bike shop. They sell road bikes and vice, you know, whatever it may be but not just primarily BMX. So the shop is a BMX bike shop yeah. in the Lower East Side. A BMX and it's bike a place that you have gone to, been going I, to since, for years. Since I moved to New York six years ago, yeah. I've been going there, and it, it embodies what community is. And it's a place where the BMX community in New York comes together. Oh, everybody. And embraces it. Everybody from around the world who rides BMX comes to New York, they stop by the shop. And you'll get to see the smiles, and he makes me smile, man. And. When you, when you guys called me up and gave me an opportunity to do something, that he's, he, he means a lot to me and he means a lot to the people here, and we're going to change. It's really going to change his, uh, his whole mental direction, and I think that's going to be a really beautiful thing. I'm Ron. How you doing? Let's talk. Yes. <laughs> I opened this shop in 2008. Yeah, so it's been 13 years. You're a rider yourself, and that's why you I ride this. bicycles, yes. That's how we primarily got here. You started this GoFundMe this year in the pandemic. The business was really slow. There was like a freeze on getting like you know, tubes, tires, bikes, like all sorts of things in general. So, but just looking at the trajectory of everything and knowing that like I can't get the most basic stuff, it makes it harder for us to stay in business. I look at this place as like a trick that I'm like, I know I can land this thing. I just need to give it a few more tries. Like I got a sick mom, so like my mom has epilepsy. She's had it since she was nine months old. She's always in and out of the hospital. Sometimes it's like, yo, somebody's gotta come pick up your mom from the hospital. And it's like, I can't even go there. You know, so you have to like be able to endure that kind of <laughs> day in, day out. Here's a question for that you were talking about before: is if you get this 50k, what do you what do you do? Where what, where where does it go? What what do you are there specific things you want to fix? Hiring more people? You know, I'd probably hire some people that know how to do the things that I need them to do, or probably been here and they know what's up, and now I can actually pay them. I think the shop is a staple here, and I love it. I think now it's like. There are people that want to help, and it's, it's because we love you and we love the shop. So I, I just I hope that we'll, with the, income, the, in, the upcoming years, it just, we see the transformation or yeah. see what the community has done for, for the shop. Thanks for doing this, dude. Pleasure. And Roan and 
All right. You guys, my man. I'm looking forward to seeing those picks. Much love. Peace.